Patrick, you, you know, I've played here before a couple of years ago. Can you talk about what it's going to be like to have Tim Kennedy on the other side? Yeah, obviously, uh, we grew up together, and, um, you know, for me, it's fun to come back to my hometown, obviously. A lot of pride where I grew up and a lot of great memories. So um, it makes it even that more, that much more special that I can play against a guy I grew up with. What do, you, what do you think it means for all the parents and kids out there in Western New York to have you, Tim, uh, Patrick Coletta uh, out there on the ice? Yeah, it just shows a lot where uh, Buffalo hockey come in the past, um, you know, 10, 15 years, obviously. And um, obviously it's nice to have three guys on, on the ice from Western New York, let alone um, the state of New York. So um, it's pretty cool, obviously. You know, I remember... You know, being nine and ten years old and watching those guys play and looking up to them, and um, you know now I can play against them, so uh, it's a pretty cool feeling. What's it like in your career when you came here the first time? You were a rookie, just trying to establish yourself. You come back two years later, and you're an elite player on a, an elite team. It's totally different. Almost. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, it's, uh, it's, it's been a fun ride. It's been a fun experience for, since the first time I came here. And obviously a lot has happened from, uh, you know, us going to the playoffs or, um, you know, winning the rookie of the year, different things like that. It's been uh, a pretty special ride. So, um, you know, it's, like I said, you know, these uh, opportunities come, you know, once every two years, every three years maybe. So uh, it's pretty cool to uh, come back to Buffalo, obviously, and um, actually play a game here. How concerned are you about the reaction you're going to get tonight? Uh, you know, not too concerned. I think uh, it will be a little different. Obviously it's going to be. You know, I'm a little interested to see what happens and uh, you know what the reaction may be, but I'm sure it'll probably be you know pr- probably the same as last time. I mean, half the people love you, half the people hate you. It's, that's just the way it is. You know, it's um, that's hockey and that's uh, what it's like coming from Buffalo. But you know, like I said before, I got great pride coming from the city. Um, you know, a lot of memories that um, you know stick out of my mind just you know playing here when I was younger, even going to this building and uh, um, playing in this building. So um, a lot of great memories. It's you know. Obviously, one experience isn't going to affect my whole reaction on, you know, what I think of this city or um, hopefully not the reaction of what people think of me. So, um, you know, it's going to be interesting, but um, should be fun nonetheless. Is it the, you got the contract extension. Uh, is, is it a different feeling now to have that security? Not that it was really ever in question for you, but is it, does it feel different now? Uh, not really. Um, you know, it's nice to get over with and nice to get done with. And, um, you know, like you said, it's nice to have the security for another five years to play in a great city like Chicago. But... Um, you know, it doesn't really, I don't think it changes me as a person or as a kid. I think it's just, um, you know, what the contract we had, I think was fair for all three of us that we got it. And, um, you know, like, like you said, the security, it's nice to have, it's nice to be locked up, but at the same time, when you're on the ice, you want to be on the ice all the time. You always want more ice time. You always, um, want to be out there competing and playing your best. So that's just the way hockey is. Yeah, whether it's, uh off the ice or on the ice, whether, whether talk about say, you know what happened to you off the ice, or when you're growing on the ice and, and uh, growing as a, as a person, have you grown as a person? Can you see that in the last couple of years, uh, just the way you approach life and the way you approach uh, hockey? Yeah, um, no, maybe not. Uh, uh, you know, especially after what happened, I think uh, you definitely take into consideration everything you do and um, pretty much everything I do off the ice now. I try to treat like it's going to be publicized or basically like it's an interview so um, you're always trying to you know give yourself the best impression and things like that you know obviously um, you try to take the positive from a negative situation and um, you know try to uh, you know maybe it's better that it happens sooner rather than later in your life and could be even worse so um, you know like I said it's you know probably helped me growing up a little bit obviously it makes you more mature and uh, you know helps you grow up but um, no I still think I'm the same kid at heart I still feel um, you know, I like to have fun. I love to play hockey. I love to, you know, joke around and, and be the, you know, same kid I, I was before. So I don't think too much has changed me, but probably helps you grow up a bit. You know, Brian, I uh, feel like it was a welcome home gift yesterday with the storm. Yeah. <laughs> should have seen our flight. It was crazy. Uh, you know, up and down, across. You know, it was funny watching everyone's head just go from side to side. And um, when we were landed, we couldn't even believe we were landing. It was unbelievable. We kept, people were looking around like, we're really going to land right now? And the guy's flying in. I don't think he could take up because he thought the wind was going to take him. But he flew in, and luckily we landed flat. But, um, you know, just Buffalo weather and, uh, you know, get used to it after a while, I guess.